today i will be presenting on uh, cheap press and tech war and uh, factors affecting to it and i am i have graduated from electronics yeah, and communication stream and btech so let's start with the presentation so uh, this will be my content throughout yeah. the presentation that uh, what is the semiconductor and the importance yeah, of it how how is it affecting how is it affecting the uh, our uh, so just a minute sir there is noise in my yeah, yeah, that's why yeah so 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 sorry for the delay there was interruption uh, from my background yeah so uh, where i was yes uh, what is the semiconductor and impo importance of it uh, i will uh, talk upon and then how how is it come to market and how will it affect that shortage of the chips that we are uh, seeing nowadays and what are the opportunities uh, our country can grab it uh, from and uh, lastly i will talk about the reference so let's start with it so yeah uh, what's the semiconductor and basically it's important so a semiconductor uh, material is basically a uh, uh, silicon and gallium made uh, uh, chip the chip uh, functions uh, whatever the input we give and it decides uh, the logic uh, written in it accordingly and then it gives output right so it is the simple definition of the our semiconductor any type of semiconductor chip and these semiconductor tiny chips are a backbone of so many industries industries like aviation in if we see jets are automatically uh, uh, driven nowadays and banking sector banking sector requires uh, huge terms of uh, fiber network and all that stuff and finance sector also and automobiles automobiles especially nowadays we are seeing ev cars and uh, uh, airbag controlled airbag cars self controlled cars and all that uh, cars require huge amount of uh, ai chips artificially intelligent in intelligence chips and there is a boost in uh, cheap uh, consumption uh, because of um, uh, uh, nowadays cutting edge technologies like uh, ai iot and uh, quantum computing so how is it come to market so there are uh, four steps uh, four most important steps uh, which are uh, raw material sourcing research and development design uh, manufacturing and assembling and distributions in sales we will touch upon all the uh, points uh, thoroughly from next slide yeah so uh, the raw when we talk about raw material and sourcing the silicon is a core part of the whole uh, chip and major contributor in the silicon is uh, china which produces around 68% of uh, worldwide silicon and 97% of gallium that's the huge impact uh, china is making nowadays uh, on the world by providing a core material of a semiconductor uh, china uh, uh, produces uh, five uh five thousand uh four hundred thousands of metric ton of silicon you while usa gives uh two ninety thousands of metric tons of uh silicon and india is uh, fifty five thousand metric tons of ton uh, of uh, silicon despite of uh, being the largest country by population and by geographics in the world we are not able to uh, uh, compete with uh, usa even let's forget about china we are not able to compete uh, uh, uh with usa and the second part is research and development the research and development takes almost uh, uh 23 percent of highest global investment research and developments required uh, a huge amount of investment it in it uh, we have to uh, make a uh, it uh, we have to use it softwares in it in it uh, in silicon uh, uh, like uh, tk and all that software that all the softwares are so expensive to research upon cutting edge technologies and cutting edge devices like uh, finfet and ga all that uh, uh, devices and usa is world leader in research and developments uh, designing is done by a fabless companies uh, fabless companies are uh, someone uh, fabless companies are uh, intel and we, we can talk about samsung and all that companies are fabless while uh, Qualcomm, Broadcom, Nvidia, and AMD are the uh, uh, leader. What I can uh, leader in USA. Those are USA based companies uh, and uh, leader leading in uh, designing de designing the chips and uh, uh, selling the chips. And manufacturing is 
it uh, manufacturing is done at the foundries foundries are the uh, most i can say most expensive part of the whole process uh, there are mainly four foundries worldwide uh, tsmc umc global foundries and smic uh, smic is based on uh, china while global foundries is based on uh, uh, usa umc based on uh, also china and tsmc is based on Ch uh, taiwan uh, one interesting fact uh, I would like to say, which is uh, TSMC provides almost 51% uh, of chips. So global foundries and SMI SMIC are also uh, relying on uh, uh, Taiwan's uh, semiconductor manufacturing company. And assembly is done uh, at OSAT, uh, is at uh, OSAT companies. And in, pro in production stage, uh, production uh, includes uh, designing, manufacturing, uh, assembling of components, uh, testing and packaging. The last three part, which are assembling, testing and packaging are uh, so, uh, uh, demands so much labor. And uh, China is the huge supplier of labor. Uh, so uh, mainly these three parts are done in uh, China, assembly, testing and packaging due to its cheap labor, while designing is done uh, majorly in countries like Canada, uh, USA, India, and all their countries china is uh, uh, lacking in designing the chips uh, in manufacturing we uh, all uh, whole world is highly relying upon um, tsmc uh, when we talk about distribution in the sales china uh, is also a leader here uh, companies in china like uh, foxconn and gigabyte are the companies which uh, manufactures motherboards and uh, uh, hard disk and all that uh, cutting edge chips uh, assembling and uh, uh, selling of it uh, due to its cheaper labor and less investment in uh, china uh, the distributions and sales is rising uh, uh, too much nowadays in china so uh, that's the whole uh, scenario of worldwide semiconductor industries so uh, uh, let's see how uh, Cheap shortage and countries war will affect uh, the whole world. The, as we have seen that uh, making a tiny chip is highly complex and globalized. One, uh, one, uh, one particular country can't uh, be a self-reliant uh, in terms of making the chips. Uh, there is uh, some uh, geopolitical hindrances also like uh, USA and China trade war and uh, you, uh, China and Taiwan uh, uh, clash uh, because of uh, China is uh, uh, world, world in worldwide, China is saying that Taiwan is uh, part of our country. Well, uh, Taiwan is denying that we are not quite part of China. So there is uh, uh, geopolitical hindrances also. And there is tension between countries making it worse. Uh, uh, tension between China and USA uh, making it worse because uh, uh, USA uh, doesn't have a faith on Huawei, uh, which is Huawei, which Huawei is uh, cutting edge uh, 5G technology, uh, 5G technological company, and SMIC is foundry. So USA has not uh, faith on Huawei and SMIC because of its uh, unethical practices. Uh, supply crunch. There is a supply crunch due to high demands of car after the lockdown uh, uh, effects. Uh, so uh, I, as I was. Uh, uh, mentioned that uh, just a minute as i mentioned as i sorry as i mentioned that uh, um, ev cars and all the modern cars require huge amount of chips so uh, there is a high demand after lockdown of cars so it is uh, giving supply crunch of uh, uh, chips uh, the Fifth factor is uh, there is over dependency on TSMC that uh, uh, all the countries uh, have to uh, see that factor that we all the uh, countries including USA, Canada, China and all the countries uh, for its chips are uh, overly dependent on uh, TSMC. So countries are look upon that. Uh, what are the opportunities uh, our country can grab from this uh, trade war shortage of chips and all that stuff? So uh, Samsung founded assembly plant in Delhi. So that's the sign that uh, uh, worldwide and multinational corporations are uh, 
uh, developing a faith on India that, that there is something in India which can uh, uh, which can help them to survive and uh, uh, boost their growth. Uh, there is a highly talented country, but uh, our country is highly talented. But uh, we have no, not uh, we have no, we don't have any utilization of our talent. Our talent is simply wasting uh, its uh, time on social media. So. Uh, and there is a the labor scaling also uh, we are not uh, looking like in our colleges there is not any proper tools uh, so that we can get uh, skills of uh, designing and uh, uh, making of chips uh, there is a d10 and g7 countries coalition that can give a possible supply chain uh, that to will uh, boost uh, the supply growth and that will uh, uh not for after that we don't have to uh, overly dependent on china uh, there is one uh, uh, what fact i was uh, read a few days ago which i would like to mention that tata is uh, likely to jump in foundry business in india so that's the uh, most uh, good news nowadays uh, we are uh, hearing that uh, tata will uh, set up its uh, foundry in India, which will make uh, devices on based on technologies like 10 nanometer, 15 nanometer. So this will create something like domino effect because uh, as uh, it is mentioned that Intel sets up its second largest design center in Bengaluru. So uh, uh, we have design centers also, then we will have foundries. So uh, our India, our country can grab most of this opportunity, but he, we have to uh, utilize our talent in right direction and we have to focus more on execution.